on air for over, I think, three and a half hours by the time it's all said and done. I'm going to ready up right here, right now, because we have a match to bring you from RBT Round 2, as Kiss Me said, between Team Graveyard Shift and Team Fusion. Isn't that right, Kiss Me? It most certainly is, and we'll do a really fast roster run down here. I will do Team Graveyard Shift. We have K-Orange, Dusty, Prince, and Center. And over on Team Fusion, we have... Xeon, Lust, Redux, and ringing for them, we have the one and only Bograt slash Bogart slash Tragob slash my ex-teammate. And as a matter of fact, we have two of my ex-teammates in this game, both Redux and Tragob, ex-members of Team Migraine, playing right here for Team Fusion on this. And this is going to be a pretty good matchup, I think, here, Kiss Me. Yeah, this is definitely one of the closer matches uh, that have been paired up for the round two. And there's a few more matches that we can actually touch on later on after this game, or maybe even when we have some dead air in between the attacks or whatnot. But uh, as of for right now, we do have Team Graveyard Shift on this rower half with, of course, Team Redux, a.k.a. Team Fusion, over on the SI side. Um, I don't know how the, the nickname Team Redux came about to be, but it seems like everywhere I go, they are mentioned as Team Redux. I think it's I just kind of... I think it's kind of just like, you know, it, it's Redux, mm -mm. he makes up the mm -mm. whole team. No, 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 the story was that on the last night of the tournament, literally two hours before the deadline closed, Redux came to me and said, yo, can I sign up a team right now? And I said, sure, go for it. He didn't have a team name for it, so they just called it Team Redux in the pairings. That's where that comes from. Oh. But yeah, for right he now, came we... up. Oh, no, good. He, he then came up with the name Team Fusion afterwards. Yeah, but Witch Gang Aggro right here, actually getting set off, going through the door, going for Lewis, actually getting nicely crowned going out there. Hunter's gonna die as well. Hits coming in from the back, Spitter spits in, Jockey Charger both going in. Survivors are gonna get a little bit trapped there. Charger gets killed. We're gonna see almost a complete shutdown on that attack. Great take right there by Graveyard Shift. Most certainly is, and with that witch up and down, we will see the tank coming up at 84%, so still a long way to go to actually get her triggered, and that's pretty much a default spot for the tank spawn. There's only really one other place that the tank can spawn, it's a lot a lot earlier in the map. In fact, Jacob may have that blocked, I'm sure he will correct me if that is not blocked, but uh, as for right now, it I do blocked. believe it is blocked, okay. So tank will always spawn way out past this alley. He basically spawns down in the subway system right near the safe room, and uh, that's the only place he can spawn. So it kind of lets the survivors get out of this terrible spot, which uh, is the alleyway pretty much. But we will see another attack coming up here for Team Redux. It will be a Spitter Hunter with a Smoker and Charger for support. And we're going to see what they're going to happen here. Smoker works his way in, looking for a pull, drops down off the building, though. Hunter gets skated. Charger looking for a pinner, not going to be able to land, though, and only managing to land one punch on the build before getting taken out. And so far, our team Graveyard Shift coming to this game strong here, shutting down pretty much all the attacks, shutting down the Witch pretty handily, and they're gonna be able to move their way right up to the tank here and get it triggered. Yeah, we have some great survivor play coming out from Graveyard Shift. Tank is gonna be up for Team Fusion slash Redux in the hands of Lust. Do we have both worms tonight, Kiss Me? We most certainly do, both Graveyard Shift and, of course, Team Redux. Alright then, so how about we take this over right now to a Team Redux worm for this tank in the hands of Lust as he gets his car into position? Let's do just that. They're far away. Oh. I have to come out with it. Oh, nice. Wait, let me kill him. Don't go. I'm not going. They're gonna push. The rest. Hold on, niggas. Um, motherfuckers. Come back. Fuck. And we're back from the first war map. Very colorful war room at the very end there. Um, Redux's <laughs> team obviously a little upset that they actually decided to run that tank, but they left themselves open to that. All the SI were basically in the back, bod the down survivor who ate the car, and it, the tank was there as well, and it just allowed the survivors you know, to rush forward and beat the tank to the safe room. That's exactly what they decided to do. Yeah, exactly. The SI support, we're not predicting that at all. That is completely legal right there. That's actually a crucial part to the knowledge of playing this tank. If you're going to play this tank, you got to make sure, and I call it the flow. People are like, what's the flow, Rails? That's where you go. This this game basically is, at the most minimalistic level, a point A to point B game, so far as to get from safe room to safe room. And when you have a tank and you break the flow like that with a hit not in position, the flow from the survivors going from one point to the other, you risk something like that happening. The rest of the SI support were ready to capitalize after the tank got the kill on the K, uh, on the K arms, as a matter of fact. But then Graveyard Chef saw their opportunity and blitzed the safe room. And you know what, Kiss Me? They got a great score for this map, 805 points. Yeah, that's actually not too shabby at all. I mean, there was one person who died, so they lost out on that multiplier. But their health bonus was just so beefy by itself, they didn't need the, the, fifth, the fourth person. It was just, you know, three people, an amazing health bonus, and it worked out for them. And uh, with that being said, we're going to see Team Redux 
over here on the survivor side half now and uh, i mean they have a lot to do that tank's not easy to you know just beat and you know walk by you do take a lot of damage from it and i mean for what they did graveyard they got a nice score off this even though they ran that tank and i gotta say here However, with that coming out, we this this survivor team for Team Fusion is completely stacked with their survivor skills. I gotta say that right now. You got Redux, who's been in the community forever here. I've been I was lucky enough to be on team with him. My past team, Team Migraine. Same goes for Tragob. Zeon, obviously serious business. Zone 69. Now coming here with his experience and Lust. I haven't personally interacted with him a whole lot, but I've played against him and I know he is one hell of a survivor player. And I'm gonna say it right here on stream right now. I personally think that if there's a person in this entire community, right? Who I look up to in terms of his survivor skills, it's Tragob. Yeah, Tragob definitely has some good survivor play to him. I mean, Redux is also someone that just has a lot of experience behind him. He's been around for two, probably two and a half years at the very least. Could be closer to three, not too sure about that exactly. But uh, then you also have to look at Zeon. Zeon is, he, he's been around, a, powerhouse. A, he's been around a little bit less than Redux, probably around the two year mark, uh, back towards the beginning of ZSM was when he first showed up. And I mean, he's, becoming an amazing player. He was an amazing player back then when he first came around with ZSN, and he was one of the most uncontested HRs in the game. He during his time he was one of the best HRs. He and you know he strutted it, and everyone knew when you went up against ZSN. The big thing was they're not going to let you touch a HR runner. And uh, actually, for, for as the survivors do go off here, Frozen actually drops down the skylight. I guess trying to bait that first attack. They also aren't going to have any of it, and uh, he's just going to be able to regroup with his teammates. There. I'm not too sure what that was. Why uh, Lust did that. I'm not sure either, but they got the infected to spawn up top. They're gonna actually come in from the bottom here for a hit. Hardy's gonna jump in there, trying to go for Bill. Pick up having none of it now. Charger's gonna miss Zoe, but actually gets a punch onto her, and a little bit of spit damage goes out onto Zeon as well. So now we actually have a spitter dying in the middle there too. This is gonna give Lust a free run at this witch. He's gonna get the nice crown. So a little bit of damage coming out there, however, from Graveyard Shift. Yeah, I mean, Lust is pretty much just yoloing this right now. I mean, he dropped down the skylight, and when the attack came in, he literally just rushed forward towards the witch. <laughs> I'm not too sure what Lust is doing. I think he's just trying to you know, assert some early dominance there, like, you know, you can't touch me. I'm not I'm not afraid of you. I'll do whatever I want. And, uh, I mean, he's done good just thus far. I mean, Zeon's taking more damage than Lust has, and Zeon's been, like, the person way in the back of the attacks and whatnot. I mean, the only thing that really touched Zeon, though, was that charger, who did miss his charge, but then he got punched by it. And uh, next attack is going to be working his way in there, though. Hunter Smoker Jockey with the Boomer for support. Hunter Smoker working their way in. Smoker lines pull, but actually Hunter takes the smoke target, or at least stumbles Zoe off of the uh, pole. And the double proxy does land, but that will be all that happens here for the SI. They're going to continue pushing away through the alley here and up towards the tank, awaiting them right around this corner. And actually, tank's already up, and it will be in the hands of the Graveyard Shift Prince. Indeed, Prince, and you know, I have a ton of respect for Graveyard Shift. Oh, that card's gonna go rocketing in! Oh, it actually nails Redux! That might actually be a commit. Let's send this right over to a Graveyard Shift War room right now. Cut this guy by himself. Card this guy, card this guy too. They're gonna run forward. Got him. Oh, he's free, he's free, he's free. I'm not gonna go for the cut. Try to cut them off. There might, one might be running for it. You got Lewis right behind you. Just stay in the safe room area. Yeah, let them push you around there. Go straight to the safe room. Just stay in that corner. Yeah, right there. Stay right there. Time. Where's the car? Oh, it's all the way back there. It's oh, back there. Get it back. That's fine. Good, good tanking. Good start. All right, cor get cor try I'm to get a boom. Boss. I'll try. I don't. Let's get a hit. Yeah, hey, now, I'm about to lose first pass. Ah. Just lose your first pass. If you got AI, go AI. Don't get chipped. Just hang around the corner and don't let them take it. Don't take chip. Don't, don't worry about it. If you have to AI it, that's fine. Yeah. Get a good hit afterwards. I can run back. Alright, we got Thanks, it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Just move it in. It's five percent. It's AI. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go. Fuck. 
We were back from that war room of the graveyard shift and a really nice hit coming in here. Jockey still riding on the lesser, gonna get the down onto him, and then he's probably gonna shift his focus probably over to Bill there as he is the next lowest. And actually no, Jockey's gonna opt to just run out, hop back in the window and hide. He's gonna wait for his SI cameras to come back up and I mean really what else happened with that tank though, Rails? That was amazing. That initial card hit that we casted there before we went to War Room was a great hit from Prince. Running in there, catching Redux a little bit off guard, as a matter of fact, just rocketing through the air. They're still going to try for a tri cap here, I believe. They might try to get it right now. Going to be a spitter coming in from the back. It's going to be a boomer, too, so it's 2 2. They won't have the tri cap. It's still a lot of damage potential. Nice wall kick goes out onto Tragob there for a little bit of damage. Jockey is going to get shut down, but that's going to put Graveyard Shift in the lead by, I think, 267 points, according to this HUD of mine. It's going to be close enough to have that. It's actually going to be a score of. Yep, 270 to be exact. So that's actually a great way in which for Graveyard Shift to start this game off, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, that's nearly as good as they could have hoped for. Obviously, they didn't... They weren't... I don't know how I want to say that. I, I guess you could say Team Redux, they weren't really all coordinated with their survivor play. I mean, when the car hit, obviously, that was a huge blow to them. But um, from that point on, basically, the other three survivors couldn't regroup well enough. Lewis was actually lucky enough not to eat that card that the tank actually... In intended for him to eat, but uh, he actually ended up punching Lois, and the car actually went flying away from Lois instead of uh, actually connecting with Lois. But uh, sounds, like, sounds like you're saying Lois. Yeah, I I say Lois sometimes. Honestly, I, I know I know it's <laughs> Lois, but I just say Lois because Lois. Uh, it comes oh from God. Family Guy. Yeah. Don't question <laughs> it. In my eyes, Lois is a blonde middle-aged woman in the cartoon <laughs> character. But anyway. You know what we need to see? You know what? One of the lovely things that I learned about playing with Tragob on a team with him and also seeing him, of course, in the pugs that he plays, he is one of the greatest hittable tanks I think this game has ever seen. He loves his hittables. I've oh, I, I want to see a hittable Tragob tank. I've actually never really seen Tragob use hittables all that much, so I can't really comment on oh, that. Oh, man. Um, I, most of the tanks I've ever seen or respected him playing, they were definitely... Uh, just kind of push in and punch survivors, if not rocks. I've seen him do some rock tanks. So, uh, His other... rocks are amazing as well. Yeah, so we're going to see what they manage to make happen here. Obviously, we are going to have Team Graveyard Shift over on the survivor half to start things off here. And we are going live here with the second map. Graveyard Shift on survivor and Team Redux over on the infected. And we're going to see what this round holds for us. This is going to be a big round here. This round has the potential to be a make or break. This and the this and the next map have the potential to be the two make yeah. or break maps. Map, you know four... I've seen? map Map 3 is actually the big one. I, I've seen it recently. Like, I mean, that has been a situation in which teams can either be ma made or broken, as you said. I just see Graveyard Shift taking out a complete surprise approach here. Gonna drop down the the shaft there. I'm almost speechless at that. A great take from them. This special infected spawns there. A smoker, a boomer, a charger, and a jockey have to reposition themselves very quickly right here. Smoker's gonna get a pull out. Punk's gonna get clear. Charger goes in, lands onto Lewis. Nice double cap cover actually does come out. Boomer's gonna get popped. Charger gets killed, but that was, even though it did still about 40 damage onto them, that, I think that was a great play by Graveyard Shift. Yeah, especially for this area, because if you look at this area in itself, there's not really all that much potential for separation. Unless the survivors drop below underneath the pillars, and you can imagine it like a polar jockey up top before they all drop. But uh, other than that, they, they did really good for you know the inability to get separation, because this area just doesn't provide the area for that. We do have a tank up in the hands of Turgob here for Team uh, Redux. I'm going to call it Team Redux, because I like that name. And uh, what are you feeling? I'm feeling an infected war room here, definitely, especially with that boom going out. Alright, let's kick it right over to a Team Fusion war room. Do it. Hey. Nice, back in the car. Nice. Oh, what? Alright. Just punch this go. guy off on me. Or... Man, you're good. Jump. You're drunk? Save me, Charger! Save me! Oh, no! no. <laughs> Cover that. Oh, what a rock! Oh, that rock! Lance Stevenson! <laughs> I forgot you could do that. This is what would have happened if they didn't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back yet again from that first war room of the second map here. Tank in the hands of Trigal at 14 Fusion, and I mean, picture perfect uh, SI play there and tank from everybody, and they got the amazing wipe out onto Team Graveyard Shift.
Yeah, an absolutely beautiful play, starting with that two-boom when we sent it over to War Room. Then Trigob made the exact right call, going in there, being able to just get right in their faces, get some punches around. That smoker that went out there was not cleared on the bill. Great pull, and then an also a nice jockey in the opposite direction there that was able to actually get some insane separation coming out on the graveyard shift. And honestly, with the boom there, Trigob did all he needed to do, covered that. Even though we don't get to see a hittable tank from him, it's still a great tank nonetheless, and that's the wipe. This right here, graveyard shift has to be careful on their special infected side of things, as I said. Fusion can really get going when they want to. Yeah, I mean, definitely coming from that tank right there, we saw a complete turnaround from the first map. They were pretty dominant in their SI play, and they were well-coordinated, to say the least. And, uh, I mean, Team Fusion, I will give them... They are my favorite to win this uh, matchup here. I do see more potential in them, uh, especially in this matchup itself. But we will see what happens, because Graveyard Shift does have the potential to take the map away from them. And we will see what happens. And we are going to be live here with the second half of the second map. Team Fusion once again on your survivor half. And Graveyard Shift on the SI. And Rose can take us away as it's coming in. All right, we have a smoker getting picked up. We have a charger landing, as a matter of fact. Boomer goes in and gets a nice dual boom onto the survivor. It actually proxies into a try. Everything else got shut down there pretty much. But that's still 25 damage and a try boom. So about an equal amount of damage coming out on those first two hits, I'd say. Yeah, definitely a nice first hit there. Uh, but we see the damage much more coordinated on one person here, that being Tregob. Where I was, on the other half, we pretty much saw this damage spread out throughout. Everyone on the team, everyone got a little bit piece of the damage. And Tank will also be coming up right now in the hands of Dusty. What uh, a separation a bunch of hunter! Dusty numbers got a ridiculous separation hunter and looks like he wants to roll. He's actually going to roll him right now, but I don't think we have time for a worm in this sense, actually. Let's see a boom go out here. Pull separation. A beautiful capitalization. That wall kick hunter from Dusty made this. Brock is going to get broken, but he's going to get another punch there onto Redux. Another punch onto Redux. Last punch goes out onto Redux to down him. Jockey did get cleared, but there is a boom going out here as Dusty numbers pushes forward. Going towards Lewis and Zoe as the last two up. Jumping in there, misses his punch onto Lewis. That's actually going to be a death going out onto Lust already. Dusty Numbers going back in here, throwing his fists around. This is an absolutely amazing turnaround from Graveyard Shift here, answering the call. Seeing him push back in, trying to prevent this pickup, actually. I think the pickup does land. Redux is back on his feet. He's running around. Charger gets a fist in the back, not going to land the charge. Boomer, however, is going to land a multi-boom. Takes a jump up there, gets a smack onto Tragob. Another hit onto Tragob going out. Bill is trying to melee him, but he gets a hit onto Redux. Going around here, he's now going to pull out. Rest of the support should be coming up relatively soon here. That dual boom is out, but what a start to this tank from Graveyard Shift, kiss me. Absolutely masterful wall kick there coming out. Getting the kill onto Francis. But it was an initial down, then the boomer pretty much just finished it all off. And, I mean, that was amazing. That was absolutely picturesque. He, he saw the separation and he capitalized on it. And that is a big part of this game. If you can actually look, pinpoint the actual separation and you can work off it with your SI, you take that initiation and you say, I'm going to make this work, and you make it work, it's a game changer. And look, we see oh one person God, dead. Again. A pull going out, Hunter's gonna get skied, Jockey going in as well, punch goes out onto Tragoff, another punch onto Tragoff, the smoker got cleared, but there's gonna be another down out onto him, turning back around here, has to decide whether to stay in or pull out, he's gonna decide to stay in, that's gonna be a dead tank, but still, what capitalization by Graveyard Shift to get that kill, and look at the health of Fusion, only Xeon has any perm health left, and there is one kill out on the board. Yeah, I mean, at this point in time, you can pretty much guarantee that Fusion is going to wipe some at some point throughout the rest of this map. I mean, that initial tank was absolutely beautiful, and I actually thought it was going to be a wipe for certain. I didn't think they were going to get out of that. and uh, so, But good survivor play by them, and now they're going to have the chance to actually make up some distance points here. But I really hope they aren't expecting any health bonus to actually come from this. Maybe a few... Maybe a couple more hundred distant points, that's about it. We're going to see attack coming here. Boomer tries to get the initial boom out to the initial attack. It will be a try cap. Hunter gets skewed. That's going to shut down the attack itself. And a beautiful level there by Lewis. But Zoe is getting pulled in the back. Finally does it clear off there. And uh, that was a, a little bit of damage going out to Zoe. But other than that, everything just got absolutely massacred there by Redux and Lewis. Redux and Xeon doing a great job there, throwing themselves out, putting that attack pretty much down here. They're going to be able to make it to the generator room, and honestly, the Witch is going to be a 54 here, but I think Graveyard Shift is going to try to either stop them on that Witch or just a little bit after here. It's going to be a very, very close game going into map 3, kiss me. Oh yeah, and we are going to see Bill try to force this staircase, actually he's going to sit back, kind of baiting out this attack, which is completely aggro now, going to be shot by Zoe, so she's going to be drawn right now, 100 does get shot down there, which is still coming in here, Boomer spawns up in the back, oh, wow. looking for some sort of a... Uh, Boom here. It does make land on the boom, but yeah. Stuck. Yeah, the witch is actually stuck underneath the table. Lewis just runs up and shoots in the back. It will beat the crown. Um, a little unfortunate that the witch actually passed it into the table. <laughs> that's that's the one that's left for dead. Zoe taking a lot of spit damage there, though. Tragob <laughs> got caught a little bit on that table, I believe. 
but that the rest of the hit is down, so they're gonna get the pills that they have in the room, I believe. But actually, there's gonna be a charge going out before that. Interestingly enough, spawning by himself. Not exactly sure if that's what he wanted to do or not, but they're gonna be able to get to those pills. Zion is still not slow. He has 46 HP. He is the only perm left. They're gonna get two sets of pills here, so Graveyard Shift really needs to find a way to try cap him soon. Yeah, I mean, the good part is they're not going to get any distance for this right here. Um, they might even have to drop back down the hill. No, they're going to stay up top. Look like Xeon and both Zoe were both looking to drop back down, but they're going to stay up top here. They know that if they drop back down, it's going to be a longer place for them, or a longer route from the run here. But with two people bleeding out and Xeon almost on the brink of being slow here, he's at the high 40s. There will be attack coming in. Hunter lines on to Zoe. Nice. That almost a tri cap. Smoker and Jockey both went for the same survivor, breaking the chance of that tri cap. But there will be a down going out onto Bill, and I mean, the. Even the other two survivors took a beating from that. Chergob dropped over three quarters of his health right there. Zeon as well dropped well over three quarters. And they're going to be pretty slow here going into the final stretch of this map. And they're going to see probably two or three more SI, SI attacks at the very least. Exactly. And you know what here? I actually think you said at the beginning it was a close matchup. But honestly, on paper, I think Fusion was definitely a heavy favorite coming in here. Graveyard Shift is playing extremely, extremely well. Smoker's going to try to get pulled in the back. Not going to land. It's going to be a Spitter Boomer Charger in the front for the rest of the hit from Graveyard Shift. Besides Center Smoker running around in the back there. Another ex-teammate of mine. Jesus, I have three ex-teammates in this game. Kiss me. I'm, a, I'm personally attached, man. The rest of the hit should be coming in relatively soon. But actually, we're going to see Fusion sit here and take the rest of the horde. Now they're going to push forward and try to drop. Moving forward towards here, Smoker's gonna get a pullout onto Zoe, intercept goes in, double charge lands, Spitz gonna go down on top of that, should be a lot of damage actually going out, that's gonna be a death on the Redux, and that's the wipe coming out from Graveyard Shift onto Fusion, great special infected play from them so far. And that is the mechanic change of the Spitter in action right there, the immediate damage, even though it's a little less, the immediate damage being pushed out upon all the survivors, really just putting its toll out onto Team Fusion, and I mean the wipe right there, you can pretty much put pin that right up to the Spit. Honestly, you can, because right there, that spit did damage immediately, and the boomer was right there standing next to it, so... That right there is great capitalization of the support special infected, making those spitter changes work. You know what? We got the survivors in an enclosed area. Let's shoot some burning acid at them. That's perfect. Yeah, they recognize that both Lewis and Zoe were sitting very low on health, and a spitter could pretty much in-cap them by themselves. I mean, let alone the beautiful double charge that did land on the boomer to help, you know, keep them in the spit. But uh, Lewis, I mean, he tried to get out, but the spit damage was just too immediate for him, and he got blocked by the smoke at the last second when he was trying to go backwards. And uh, it just didn't work out. Or I believe it was a smoker. I might have been the spitter. I might be a liar. Kiss me may indeed be a liar, but we're going to be seeing our tank at 82% here, our wish at 13. We still have Graveyard Shift actually leading into the third chapter here with, I believe it's about 90 points-ish. Hunter is going to pre-spawn on the side over there. It's going to be a Boomer, a Smoker, and a Charger for the rest of this hit. Bouncing around. They're going to send it in right now. Charger lands just land in the front, but then does get cleared. Pull goes out in the back. That is also going to get cleared right now. Hunter is still spawned up the top there, so actually some nice, nice clearing right there from Graveyard Shift. Yeah, really nice immediate clears going off out of them, keeping the damage down to a minimum. But they know, they have to hear this hunter who's still pouncing around. They probably don't know he's on top of the water tower. And he is looking for this visceral pounce. He's going to go ahead and pounce in, looking for Zoe. Going to land the 25. Wow. Fragob with the visceral right there. Going in, you know what? That's actually a legitimate strategy. I know what people say when, they all, when all the infected should be going in together. But if you get a damage pounce like that and you have somebody who consistently lands them, that is perfect. Which is actually going to get triggered right now by Lewis. Back up into common, going to fail the crown. Double charge man is land as well. Boom goes out. Spit on the charge guy. This is a disaster for graveyard shift right here. That fail witch crown. Bill's going to get pushed back into the spit as well. That's going to be almost two downs going out onto graveyard shift from that hit. An absolutely beautiful attack being executed by the SI. They didn't even care if the spit the which land or not. They just did what they could. And an insta yes, smoke going up by Chagab, jumping right down behind Francis, getting that insta, getting oh. those points. There's a story here. See, Center and Tragob were both on my team of Braxis for a little bit of a point in time here. And for those that don't know, that team did break up not exactly amicably between the two of them. And Center and Tragob have faced off when Tragob was on Migraine before and Center was on Pruner Wangs. And so if you see Tragob targeting Center, that might be intentional. Might be a little bit of a favoritism being pointed out for the ESI. You know, yeah, I'd say picking so. Picking their targets. Redux, same story there. We have another hit coming in from Fusion here. Survivors are camping underneath. It's going to be a Jockey, a Charger, a Spitter, and a Hunter. Nice skeet going out from Prince. He's then also going to get Jockey. Then the Charger is going to land onto Prince as well, but that is all non-health bonus really funneling that in, so a good job by Lewis there. 
Yeah, pretty much good uh, damage plans there. They had everyone else backed up against the awning, or underneath the awning, I should say, so that the SI couldn't really get a good hit on them. And I guess the SI didn't look at the health before they attacked. I mean, regardless of that, though, they did make another pill commit. So that is kind of their uh, point here. That's their mission, to get all the pills popped so that they do they reach that careful. point of being slow. They're split. They're split pretty hard, actually, right now. If the smoker lands, it could be a big problem. Smoker is going to land. Tongue's going to get clear. Boomer does go out on a 200 pounds in there, is going to land. P clear does go out, but Francis is going to get pulled down. Charge is going for the intercept here, missing his charge. Pull does get cleared. Francis is down below. That could have been a lot worse had those clears not going out there, kiss me. Yeah, Francis also had a little bit of a godsend there. He, When he got pulled, he actually fell down on top of the tractor trailer, which saved him from losing a lot of his health right then and there. And uh, he kind of just slid down on the tractor trailer and then landed on the ground. If he got pulled directly off on this angle, it would have done, I think, somewhere around 40, uh, 40 damage worth of fall damage to him. So pretty nice save there by him. A little bit of a misplay there on the smoker's part for pulling on that angle. But other than that, survivors are going to continue pushing up here. They have the health to beat this tank, but the tank is not coming for a long time. Nice boom. A nice little bit of a t gang team up on the Lewis here. He's not in the spit though, but 100 minutes land on them. And Jucky is also doing quite a number with the scratches here. That is going to be. Haunted. Yeah, he actually almost died right there. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The spitter in the hands of Trade Off is still up. He could decide to either save or send back in, but Prince is in the black and white after the wish down, too. As you said, they do have the health to take this tank, but they need to play flawlessly until they get to that tank at this point, because right now their health is not looking good if you don't consider that fact. Yeah, most certainly. They have to really work on just keeping Prince away from this tank whenever it does come up here. I mean, the tank right now is getting pretty grim from them, the whole situation in general. Their chances of actually defeating this tank is kind of, you know, I'm not going to be an optimistic or pessimistic, but I'm going to be a realist. It's looking pretty grim for Grave Rush Shift right now, but I mean, if they can somehow really shut down the SI when the tank does finally come in here, they can make something happen here. Smoker looking for the death pole, grabs Prince here. Jockey's also spawning up, looking for the double cap up top, but Smoker's already down, so they're not going to be able to actually use that to adventure. Jockey's still kind of trying to bait out the survivors here, trying to make them, you know, wait for that Smoker recharge here. And uh, Smoke, or Jockey does finally get killed off. Smoker's going to back out, find that despawn, and survivors will finally take the drop. Yeah, indeed, and that smoker is down to 125 HP, so Redux did hold on to it. The tank is going to be Redux in this situation, so he is looking pretty much at a wipe right here. Nice Boomer Pop coming out from Prince onto Tragob there. They are going to have pills now for K-Arn, so they could actually stay fast here. Tank is now going to come up in the hands of Redux, as we mentioned before. Let's head over to a Team Fusion Morum here for that tank. Kiss me. Oh, them two. What? I got stuck right there. I could have caught them right there, by the way. Yeah, I didn't have. When I get closer, they're not camping that spot. Yeah. Right around that corner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got him. He's cleared. Damn it, he's gonna pick him up. And cap those two, though. Yeah. He's rushing for points. Did you get that or is it stuck? He's stuck there with a lot of work. Let me, like, do you gain points all things up. Uh, I can see you. A pretty quiet worm actually coming out there from Team Redux, but other than that, they do get the wipe. Nice size size support. Tank barely having to do anything. Just kind of push the survivors back and then in cap too. But other, other than that, SI did work, and there's the wipe for them. This could be a big map right now for Team Redux slash Fusion because. Honestly, this is, in the past couple of games I've seen, I know in VOV's game versus Roadrunners, we made this map, I think we got like 1,100 points or something like that. It was an insane amount of bonus. And I've seen it happen in a couple of the other matches as well. And actually, most consistently in the scrims, we played against Team Apollo on Grizz's team, and they made this they made the save from both times with big bonuses in map 3 as well here. And it really depends on, I'd say, the damage pre-tank, because that tank isn't necessarily very hard for survivors to deal with, so it's all going to be about that damage mitigation up until the tank. We, all, we say that a lot on these casts, but in this situation, it is crucial at this point, because Graveyard Shift is only leading by about 545 points. 
Yeah, most certainly. And this is that map where it can be made or break in, or made or broken right in here now. So it's going to be up to Team Fusion to actually keep things close on the second half here. And we are going live. So this is this is it for them. If they want to make the comeback or at least take the lead, this is probably one of the better maps to do that. Map 4 is no guarantee. You can't really hope for that to actually make the comeback. This is probably the best bet. Boomer initiating early here onto Francis. They will back into the safe from here, though. Boomer just throwing his life away at this point. They might opt to now just hold these other three Capri's here and actually just wait for the spitter to come up, which I think would probably I be best they're done. Yeah, it looks like well, that's what they're going to do here. I mean, that means that Team Redux is probably going to push towards which Actually, they're going to attack. Have a nice two-cap going out. That might indeed be a tri-cap. That is almost a tri-cap going out. Surprising the living shit out of the casters and Team Redux at the same time. I like it, Kiss Me. I like it a lot. Yeah, that little bit of a separation there, they decided to work off of it, and it, they made it work. They got the damage. I mean, even without the spitter, you see Lust down in the 50-point range, and they're going to go for the draw crown right now. Francis looks like he wants to take this witch. He knows spawns are down, and he's actually not going to be able to crown the witch, because Bill's actually going to take the crown instead. Uh, hopping up on track to the trailer, making the witch climb, and it looks like they want to shoot the gas station. No, they're going to they're going to stay away from it. Not as of yet, so that means they're probably going to play it left for dead one style once more. It's actually become the new meta on this map, and Jacob talked about during the podcast that we had earlier, you know, sitting there and having and making a couple changes to the map three here with the tank not spawning in the middle of the horde and the horde being a little bit less. You've seen them go back to this left for dead one style of sitting underneath here. Boomer's going to jump in, gets a wicked dual boom actually. You can see the rest of the attack come in as a matter of fact. Hunter's pounce around, nice skeet. Charger's going to go in there, misses his charge. Spit goes down on top of that. A little bit of damage going out, but now we are going to see Team Redux push. Yeah, and that's absolutely a really good strategy right there. You take one hit, and then you know you're safe to traverse the rest of this crescendo, the the worst part of this crescendo, um, without you know facing any confrontation from the SI. And it really pays off for them. They're able to make it into the window here. They're going to drop down, and they they know they're going to be safe for another few seconds here. The spawns are going to start coming up. We have a smoker with a boomer for the first two spawns, and we were just waiting to see what else they have. Smoker gets a pull on the back onto Bill, but that's, it's cleared immediately by Francis. And there's still a hunter with that charge and boomer to do uh, some sort of magic here. I don't. I don't know if they want to send this right now because their spawns are getting a little out of whack here. Boomer gets popped immediately oh, wow. by Tragob. He's not having any of that Boomer uh, tactic. I don't know. Uh, Funzies, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's great at shutting down those free boomers, those free booms as well. So now we're gonna see those two spawns did get sacked. You think that was intentional? Kiss me, I'm not entirely sure. I think they were trying to find some sort of initiation to work off of, but the other SI just never seemed to be ready. Like when the smoker went in, the other three weren't ready. They didn't have their spawns yet. And then when the boomer went in, the other two spawns what didn't have anything to work lost. off of. Lost almost got wall kicked there, but he managed to find a way in which to completely mitigate that. Trigop does catch that charger, but no spit going on top of it. Lust shut, Lust shut down that wall kick very, very efficiently. Yeah, good play by him, and we're going to see, yet again, Team Fusion just kind of beasting through this. The only person who's taking really any damage to actually uh, take note of has been Lust. And there's a smoker looking for a pull back. Oh, Redux is so lucky that Francis didn't drop there. So, uh, Trigob kind of saving Redux right there from an uh, instant yeah, death pull. He just saved his former teammate and current teammate's ass with that with that staying back there, just finding a way in which, you know, if he would have dropped there, I actually thought that was going to happen. Wait, the spawns are down. What if they have a smoker? And then he made the play, so heads up play by Tragob there. And, yeah, we're going to see actually the tank coming up right now for Graveyard Shift into the hands of K-Orange. This is a crucial tank right here. This this is the make or break tank. If this tank doesn't land anything, if his that SI get absolutely shut down, this is gonna be pretty much a blunder here for a graveyard shift. This is where they get to keep their lead if they deserve it. If they can actually get this wipe on the survivors on a team fusion, they deserve to take the lead here and maintain it for this map. But other than that, I say we just go ahead and toss this right over to Graveyard Shift War Room and I mean just listen to what they're talking about. Let's do it, this is clutch. The next time Bill gets close, I'll see if I can get him. If he comes close. You're on second pass. Yep. You can go close to the door. Or... I'm a ready. smoker. Bullshit, whatever. Ready? ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. Gotta get that pull from, bro. Yeah. I came from too far, that works. Why? Why? Cover. Try. I'm out of the sewer. Get the fuck out of there. That could have been good, it was a little bit... Didn't work out. Good try. AI done? Yeah. Yeah, AI. Let's just hang around there, they're gonna run forward. They're gonna run forward, just gotta set up for the ladder then. Basically. Um, hopefully just you get a hunter. Just leave the tank there. 
Don't just remember they have that little pipe they can stand on. Yeah, we mm -hmm. can still get a hit. We should hit when they're going through here. Okay, get ready. Good, let's go. What the f Ooh, good try. Fucking bullshit. I went the wrong way, I shouldn't have went with you. Alright, well now they have the fattest bonus in the world with no resistance on ladder. Don't worry, man. Did I screw up during that tank? Like, no, you did fine. We gotta get to the I only punched the charger because Zoe was about to clear. And I was just gonna punch through. Oh, that's a big bonus. Crucial misplay there by Graveyard Shift, unfortunately. I was sitting there, I was thinking of typing it in spec chat, but I was gonna say they should have just saved the tri cap that they had and choke out at the hole. Because with the modifications that happened to the hole, one, spit damage doesn't count. They had a tri cap with boom. Two, if Fusion hadn't been paying attention, they would have put somebody on that thing up there, and the charger can pull them right out of the hole. It's almost a death charge because then you can you can interfere on it. But instead, they sent the hit in down below, which then was completely cleared. Redux and I believe it was Xeon made two clutch plays there to clear at close proximity. And after that, they pushed in and got that beautiful, outrageous bonus for map three here. That is a clutch, clutch, clutch play that comes from our survivor team here. Pretty much reciprocating what Graveyard Shift did on map one, except they made it for and a larger bonus. That is crucial. Yeah, that was a huge tank misplay. His team did get a little upset at him when he did kill that charger for kind of no reason. I don't really know why he decided to take the charger's target, but he killed off the charger and he said, you know, I'm downing Bill, not you. But, I mean, other than that, it, the survivors didn't really get hit too hard by the SI and the tank was forced to back out. Now, I don't know why they didn't decide to actually keep the tank up and try to work with him. They decided to just leave the tank in the back and, L, you know, let him LOS, let him go AI, and... Yeah, I mean, he still had 1100 HP. He could have gotten a rock or two if he, you know, pushed in with the survivors. Maybe even a punch inside that tunnel. Like, I feel like they kind of just wasted the last of his health. We will see attack going out here. Charger lands onto Rochelle or Zoe up front. Spitter does also go down on top of that. Jackie trying to get some separation in the back onto France or Lewis does manage to get that. And that's actually going to be a nice first hit here coming out from Team Graveyard Shift. But they have a long way to go now to actually make it back into this game. They have to get the wipe here. There is the witch up here. Zoe's looking for the crown here, pushing forward, running right up to the back, and gets the crown. Nice shot there. Yeah, Zeon getting a nice job taking that crown after that first hit. And now, you know what about this map now? Fusion definitely has the momentum back. Things have really fused together for them here. You can see a boomer get nicely popped actually going out from Lust. Smoker pull in the back, trying to land as well. Lands onto Zeon, gonna pull down, make him redo that choke, but now the Charger and Spitter are left completely alone. There should be some spawn blocking coming out here. Maybe not, actually. They're, they're letting a couple spawns go from in between. But as I was saying, this map can actually be like a three or four hit map if the survivors are fast enough. Yeah, if they're able to shut down the SI well enough and they're able to push fast enough, they could definitely limit these SI attacks. I mean, during the event alone, though, you're going to see two, maybe even three SI attacks. It, does, it depends on how brazen the survivors want to be. If they want to, like, push immediately after the elevator opens, they can make it in one attack after you hit the button. Um, but other than that, you're going to... There's not really all that many attacks to make things happen. The Graver Ship's best hope right now is to hope for some sort of, like, double death charge up top on the roof. I mean, they... On the tank. Yeah, they or tank, I guess. Yeah, that's too. I mean, <laughs> actually, when is tank? Tank's at the top because this 50%. is. Fifty percent. You know what? We might have to restart the chapter because it might be stuck in the elevator shaft. I'm just pre-warning you right now. It's been a bad night for us in restarts. Oh gosh, someone from Russia has joined. But um, uh -oh. actually, if it, if it's at fifty, might see. I think it's gonna be at the top. Now that I think about it, it's not gonna spawn right here. So now it's gonna be a bait between the survivors and the. SI, they're gonna hit the elevator now. Hit should be going in. Indeed, it is. What a boomer pop from Xeon. Charger Spitter and Jockey all moving themselves in here. Jockey is gonna land on to Francis, but a kick goes out. Xeon is turning it up. Yeah, Xeon's just absolutely shutting everything down. The Russian asking, is this Confoggle? And, uh, it, well, it kind of is. It's pro, it's pro mod, though. I'm being nice, and nothing they can leave. Right. Obviously. You know, but yeah, but now you know what? Team Fusion has a great health bonus here. They've moved their way here. Obviously pre-tank health bonus, but still, they've done a great job conserving that damage. Only one charge spit really landing. So... It's a, he, he, no, it, no. No, it can't happen that way. Um, can you copy and paste his name to me in Steam? 
Following that, another attack coming here. Nice double cap landing inside the room with a nice quad boom landing just as well. Unfortunately, all the common do come from one single doorway in this, so it's pretty easy to filter out the common themselves. But um, other than that, really nice SI, SI attack, able to actually force themselves into there and get the damage that they did. There you go. I, I could do it too because I'm an admin here, but you know. Anyway, so we're going to have this quad boom go out, and that's going to be Team Fusion beating some crap off here, and actually going to make their way to the elevator here, and that means the tank is going to spawn pretty much right when we make it to the top. And you know what? Instead of just throwing it over right away, I would actually rather throw it over to a graveyard shift war room right now. All right, let's do just that. All right. Pretty sure you can't put well, it. Right. Right. Go! He just got up, spawn up. I don't think he can do oh, it as a okay. ghost. Right, right, right. Because I saw you right. with the ASD. Oh no, the AFK plugins, the terror. It takes him to spawn when you get out of the <laughs> elevator, most likely. We should have actually kept the spitter, but well. Yeah. For, uh, for a charger spit. Yeah, we should have kept that. No, not charger spit, but just to hold the mid elevator while we get closer. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, either. oh okay. we got another spitter. Well, what about, how about that? Whatever. Look at that. Spit, 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 spit. Your I can't. It's too late. Let's get a little bit closer because they're going to try to trip you. At least you got past that part. Oh, we need a boomer for this. Fuck, man. Alright, I'm going in. Yeah, go for it. Let's go in. Go. Help. Aw, oh, fuck me. Remember that fucking shit with like the 10% health? Like and we're back yet again from that war room of the graveyard shift and really nothing happening from there and I mean Just looking at team fusions health bonus right now. You you don't even have to look at the health bonus. Just look at the bars You can tell they're they're sitting pretty beefy right now. They have a nice health bonus on them Yeah yeah, that unfortunately right there, that tank from center not being able to deliver. And you know what? Team Fusion are about to plow into the safe room. Boomer goes out. Spit's not going to land in their path. Triboom did land. Smoker goes out. They're going to clear that. Charger's all they got left. That's going to be a charge going out onto Xeon. But it is a 844 point health bonus for Team Fusion into the safe room. A complete reversal from the first two maps. Fusion have taken complete control of this game. Xeon doing 59% of the SI damage. Wow. I mean, uh, Xeon, Xeon alone, that's a pretty impressive statistic. But, I mean, other than that, uh, these past two maps have been, as you said, an absolute reversal of what we saw the first two maps. We saw a really close game coming into this. And then it seems like map three and four, it seemed like Team Redux just like, started, you know, understanding what they were doing, they started reading their attacks better, and they just were able to shut them everything down before it became a problem. They shut down the spitters, they shut down the boomers effectively, they didn't allow them to initiate or, you know, get the spit out. Like, even if the capital landed, they shut down the spitter so they couldn't get the spit out. And it just, overall, it, it, it worked. I mean, look at them, where they're sitting right now, they're way above where we see Team Graveyard. Honestly, and now... I mean, for all the tanks Graveyard Shift could be facing here, it's going to be a Xeon tank, too. Yeah, uh, that's... I, I don't know how it would be Karma, but that's that's going to be a really hard tank. Because Xeon's well known for his tanks, he's one of the better in the game. And we're going to actually see the SI opting to set up upstairs, it seems. Because I do see Which? two, three spawns, yep. They're going to be hitting on that which that we saw kind of a uh, Team Graveyard Shift kind of just pass up. They didn't really opt to hit on it, they decided to go for the early hit. Which didn't pay off. By the way, uh, so. which didn't pay off. I get it. Uh, uh. But yeah, so Trick Up's actually gonna scratch out some doors over here. The witch should be spawning right about in that area, and looks as though Graveyard Shift doesn't know that they're doing that. They're obviously just gonna go here and anticipate an early hit. But kiss me at this point, honestly, with Finale the way it is, that early tank on Finale is usually a double wipe. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I mean, the, as you said, the tank itself, it's pretty rough to take. You don't see a lot of survivor teams ever beat that tank. Really, the only way you'll see that tank actually not wipe is if, like, the SI get absolutely destroyed. Like, survivors tunnel back in the safe room, the, he goes after one survivor, and then the other three, like, absolutely just spam at the hell out of the door. Then the SI just get killed off completely, and then, it's, you know, it's a pretty much dead tank from that point on. 
but you don't see that happen all often and besides that we are looking at the fourth map right now and graveyard shift is looking to make this map with some sort of huge health bonus seeing if they can actually outdo what team uh, Redux did. We're going to see the attack coming here as they did get triggered. Nice double charge. Going to put Suarez in the spit there. And the Wish gets it down on the Francis. That's going to be probably a kill on him. Nope. Bill actually saves Francis before the Wish starts clawing away at him. For you, those of you that do not know, the Wish kills in this mod much, much faster than in vanilla. Instead of, you know, somewhere around tw 10 to 12 claws that it normally takes in vanilla, um, this Wish kills in pretty much three claws. Three. So, so it's much and faster. Interesting stat here. Um, if they were to get in the save from right now, Team Redux made a health bonus eight points higher. Actually, I think one of them just got shot. Indeed. And now that Bruce is going to go in there and is going to get M2 and shut down. Going to be a Charger, a Spitter, and a Jockey for the rest of the hit. Charger's going to go in there, tries to do a fancy charge. It's not going to land. Does manage to punch center. Still punching center. Jockey's on center. Charger on center. Center is getting beaten to shit by Xeon and this Charger in the hands of Redux. They're going to actually take center and put him downstairs. Charger's going to get a stumble again. That's a ridiculous amount of damage on him. And Xeon's jockey is not dead. Never mind. Come on, grab my hand. That was an absolutely massive. It actually made me choke for no reason. That was a huge <laughs> attack coming up from this, the SI right there. Zoe down to 10 HP. Going to be forced to pop those pills before this event goes off. And, I mean, basically, look at the health bonus right now. What is it, around 500? 500, 572 health bonus right now for Team Graveyard Shift. And, I mean, we saw Team Redux make it with an 832. So, the absolute complete reversal here that we saw from the first two maps. The pure dominance that we're seeing coming out from Team Redux. And another attack coming in. Hunter gets skied, though. Very nice shot, but a nice double cap still managing to land with the Jockey and Smoker. And that, that was still yet more damage done to Bill right there. And it's just knocking them down even further. It's just knocking the pegs out from underneath them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is at the point where now Team Fusion is just beating them into submission almost. I mean, it's just a point at which now Graveyard Shift, unfortunately, that, that turn that happened somewhere in the middle of that third chapter with KR and just tank, that's the problem. Trakov really wants to spawn. He really, really wants to spawn outside the doors that charger. It's going to be a Jockey, a Spitter, a Boomer, and Trakov's charger who's still trying to spawn by jumping, but is not getting much of anything. Actually, he's not going to get the spawn. Goes in there, tries to charge center, isn't going to land. Rest the attack is going to go in there. Some damage goes on to Dusty Numbers and a little bit more on to center there. But as you said, they are still just continuing to chip away at that health bonus down to 456. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have a still quite a way to go to get the actual wipe here. But, I mean, just judging off their health, the tank is going to be more than enough to get the wipe here. The moment they get out of the elevator, it spawns up. Sanders going to be forced to pop those pills. K Orange is almost on the brink of going slow here. In fact, he's already within the two punch. Oh, Smoker. Smoker's going to try to pull. Almost gets a death pull on the center. I actually don't know when the last time I saw that land was. Not in a pub, but an actual competitive game. I, I honestly can't. I don't know if that's ever happened in a game that I've seen. Would have been the first, I think. I can't that was. I, I'm trying to think too. I mean, I've watched a lot of cats, as I said before. I don't think I've ever actually seen it. No, in, in a confoggle game, let alone a match. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen it ever land. I mean, Vanilla, I've seen it happen a few times, but... Yeah, other than that, I don't think I've ever seen an actual death pull happen in the door. And it's it's a pretty hard window to actually hit, but if you do hit it, it feels amazing. But, oh, actually what's is out there. Tank is up in the hands of Zeon. I think we owe Fusion a War Room here. Kiss me. Most certainly do. Let's kick this right over to a Team Redux War Room for this tank in the hands of the one and only Zeon. And let's see what they do. Do it. Charger's in. No, not my charger. I want to push in. Okay. He's got stuck. Wow. Get a health Tank, where are you at? Are you standing still? No. But, um... Nice. A little bit of lag coming up from Zeon. He was, you know, kind of like moving back and forth, glitching back and forth, like a PowerPoint presentation. But he's gonna go ahead and jump rock off the building, and the rock comes crashing back down on top of Zeon's head. <laughs> but that is the wipe being pushed out there by Zeon and his SI support. Beautifully played by them, and they got the wipe. Coming into the finale, they have an absolutely commanding lead over Graveyard Shift, and I don't really see how Graveyard Shift's gonna be able to claw their way out of this one. I don't think so. I mean, even with this early tank and the white possibilities, the score differential is just too great at this point. So, I mean, miracles are possible, Kiss. I mean, we've seen that before. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've we've definitely seen some one thousand point comes back before. We've actually casted a couple of them, I believe. And uh, I mean, it's I don't even know if it is possible. No, there's there's eighteen hundred points separating these teams right now, and uh, they have a twenty four hundred point max. I don't want to hear it. I believe. All right, so if but by some chance we see Team Redux wipe right out here out of the safe room to this tank, and then pretty much Team Graveyard Shift Another take less, on the first. <laughs> they have to take less than a hundred permanent health damage, and I think that will be enough for them to win. I I, I I hate to be a pessimist, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> but uh, we can always hope to be a pessimist. Oh, man. Well, I mean, the thing is, though, Graveyard Shift, as I said, they were, I'd say, pretty big underdogs coming into this match. I mean, they're still a relatively new team. This is actually, I think, their only second team at the tournament. Tank is going to come up right now into the hands of Prince for Graveyard Shift. And I think we still owe it to them to send to one more of their war rooms here. Kiss me. Absolutely. They've been an amazing team, and they've played the hearts out, so let's pass it right over to the war room. Do it. Ready? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Center. Oh, you waited. You should have just I can't because they were guarding it when you decided to go in. There Triple you go. Get charge. to the stairs. Go to the stairs. Yeah, Prince didn't go for it. Went for just one survivor. Can't They're do all that. blocking the stairs. Get up, get up. Let's right. camp there again. We'll do it again. Prince went for the one survivor instead of the group. Second pass it if you have to. Don't let them take that corner. Alright, you can commit. Just wait for it, just wait for it. I'm gonna pull if he gets greedy. I'm gonna actually go, I'll as, go in as, last. as long as I, I can for some bleed out. They're 90%. Someone's in the safe I know, room. I know. That's someone's in the safe room. They're gonna bleed him out? Yeah. Alright. They're out of the safe room now. Be patient. I'll pull it if it gets greedy. I'm going in. Pulling this guy. Fuck. Oh, my bad, dude. We're back yet again from that worm of the graveyard shift. Possibly the last of this game, depending on how well we see Team Redux do here on this final uh, stretch here. There will be one more tank, though, during the crescendo. So uh, we will see if we manage to make it to that tank. But other than that, we team medics did a good job. They really limited damage there. They, they did took an excellent a job. Yeah, that was amazing, actually. I mean, they, they managed to limit that. Trey got killed all three SI on the tank's last commit there. He killed the boomer, then he killed the jockey, and he also killed the smoker. So, I mean, yeah, they did a good job baiting that tank in once again. I mean, that wasn't really the awesome hit for them to go in with either, which is now going to get killed by Lust. Another hit should be coming in from Graveyard Shift here. Hunter is spun up in the back. It's going to be a Boomer, a Jockey, and a Charger. Hunter pouncing around. They're probably going to try to go for like a Death Charge or something. Charger's going to go in there. Going to miss it off there, as a matter of fact. That would have been an interesting charge had it landed, but Treyob's going to get pounced and also boomed on. Yeah, so another nice little cute attack coming out there from Team Graveyard Shift. But uh, it's just not really doing all that much to the Team Fusion. They're just you know taking these attacks to the face, and they keep on trucking. It doesn't seem like anything is really going to slow them down here. We're probably going to see that next tank for Graveyard Shift sometime in the near future. Um, but first, we got to see Team Fusion actually set this event off. I don't believe they have just yet, but we will be awaiting that. Let me tell you, though, this is a really easy map for survivors to survive. Yeah, the whole that really is... Yeah, in my opinion as well, the holdout really isn't all that hard. You just have to stay off the pipes. But actually, uh, uh, what happened to Bill? What just happened to Traygob? Um, Cole goes out here. Charger's gonna land onto Zoe. That's a death charge onto Zeon. What the hell just happened? How did Traygob get down there? Uh. <laughs> all I saw was Bill uh, on the ground. All SI were still up. Um, they, I don't even know how you could get in cap there. Unless he had like one HP and he tried to jump and he missed and he broke his leg, that's the only thing I can really think of. But he had more I than. I'm so confused. I don't really know, but in the end, Zeon did end up get, get, eating a death charge. He got hooked up on the corner, and that was a beautiful head to play by the charge actually to secure his death here. And now we see the possibility of a tri cap happening here. We see a Jackie with a spittering smoker working the way in here. They don't have that fourth spawn just yet, so I'm not too sure what they're doing. Actually, it was the boomer line out of the Francis. Beautiful double cap in the spin here. Jackie and smoker getting a lot of damage both onto the cappers respectively, and Les gets his health bonus absolutely massacred there, down wow. into the single digits. That was an insane. Actually, no, Lust is at. 
I can't hit. No, Lust is at, he's at 1 HP right now. That was a 1 HP hit going out onto him from both that Jockey and that Smoker. What a beautiful hit that came out there off that 2-2. And obviously, uh, some Witch Doctor magic here happened, and Tragob went launching off into a corner. I'm not exactly sure how he got there. We'll have to check the stream afterwards. They're going to down Lust here. Hit should be coming in from Graveyard Shift. Hunter and a Charger. Charger is going to miss. Hunter jumps in there and is going to still bounce around. Jockey goes to Tragob and gets killed. Hunter gets M2 and shut down, but that is another down going out onto Lust. Well, so Lust is, is going to be getting up here, and he will be on his first end cap. And uh, other than that, I mean, survivors are still looking in good shape here. This tank is most likely going to spell the end of them. But, I mean, Graveyard Shift, it's really, uh, it, it's looking bleak. Because at this point, they need to make it with, like, a near-perfect health bonus. Like, barely taking one tank punch on their half. Like, it's, it's going to be quite the task. If they make it, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll find You'll something to do. It. Yes, I will do exactly that. Boomer tries to initiate here, gets the boom out onto Gob here, but Smoker does get uh, kind of meleeed off there by Francis. Jockey's still looking around, but gets shot down by Francis as well. Francis is really doing work on the outside there, keeping himself safe, and, and the process also keeping Dragob safe. And we're going to just let him keep going here. Indeed, now the tank is in the hands of Prince for Graveyard Shift, throwing a rock very, very high into the air. Still going! Almost gonna win! Come on, we need to have a repeat of that rock that I did from the Watch Left 4 Dead tournament. The one on DK4? Yeah. Oh, the moon rock? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I really want to have a repeat of that where I can just do that again. That was a beautiful moment in, I think, both of our lives, not only our Left 4 Dead playing careers. But, we actually have this tank moving in close in here. Do you want to keep it here or send it to a war room? Uh, we can send it to a war room. Let's just send it right to, over to a fusion war room, see what they're thinking here on Survivor Half. Okay. Tank's gonna jump on you. Jackie and Francis, okay. Keep going. He's not gonna cut you off, keep going. Don't do it. Just keep running around. You're good. Come on, Lost. Come on, Give me pills, dude. Uh, Moon rock. Hang on, I will. Give me pills. Come on, minigun. Hunter behind. Yeah. AI. Oh, hello, HP. What the fuck? I'm doing it. And we are back. No, we're not. Now we're back from that worm of the Team Fusion. Really well played there, actually. Again, the Jukes out onto the tank there and staying alive, actually. That was really unexpected on my half. But other than that, really well played by that survivors. Exactly, we have a jockey going here for Francis M2 and not going to land, I don't believe. Freaking Tragov is on this minigun and he's having some fun with that. It's going to be a charger, a hunter, and another spawn coming into queue for Graveyard Shift in a second here. But yeah, we see this team fusion overpower Graveyard Shift with their survivor play. I now realize I shouldn't have had those three coffees before we started streaming. Why? Because coffee does things to people. It, it does things. It makes people like have, it makes people have to go to the bathroom, or else. Do you need me to explain? <laughs> yeah, I do. I really do. What are you talking? No, about? we're okay. Anyway, another attack. Working his way in here. Jockey Hunter with the charger, looking for the tri cap. Hunter is about to land, but Jockey gets shut down unfortunately. So the charger is going to be looking for his death charge. Actually, chest bumps Francis. Messes up the death charge. <laughs> oh but, uh, my They still got the end cap. That's unfortunate. Tragob is still alive here. He actually tried to pick up there and fell down. Now he's coming back up, and Redux is going to have to wander up there and pick him up instead. So, I mean, yeah, I get the end cap down, but still, Lust is black and white. Tragob has 14 HP, and Redux is still at 40 green. 
I mean, Redux has definitely been a little uh, help bonus uh, keeper here. He's been keeping his team up here, saying, come on, guys, why can't you be more like me? Look at my health bonus. But other than that, another double cap, triple cap actually works his way in here. Jockey looking to latch on Lewis, but nice dead stop by Lewis Mitter. Hunter's going to go ahead and reclaim that as his target, though. Uh, Lewis does end up getting cleared, though, but it might be an in-cap going out, and it will be just that. Trigob is also common locked here. He has only one HP left to his name, and this Jockey's look for the scratch. He's common, also want his blood, and they are going to be looking for this uh, wipe right here. Drops on, get scratched. Beautiful play by a jockey. But, I mean, other than that, I, I, I don't even know if it's possible, actually. Hold on. It is. 2,400. It is It is possible. They they can't lose more than 300 health bonus, though. They're not going to take a single hit from a common here. You, you watch. They're going to have the mythical chapter. They're going to make it with 2,400 points, exactly. This is going to be one of those uh, moments you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you and I cast together, I think it's a moment that neither of us can forget. And tell me what coffee does to people, goddammit. Uh, it makes people have to go to the bathroom. Okay, and do you have to do that? Is that why you were silent? Were you going to the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> while, I, while I'm sitting here, I am so dedicated that I did it right <laughs> you just here. brought a chamber pot out here. I, I just reached for my empty coffee mug and... Yes. Oh. Anyway, besides that little disturbing <laughs> tidbit that Rose is trying to get me to say, we are going live here with the second half of the finale here. And first stack is kind of working his way in here, though. It was the AI Charger. Boomer looking to get the boom. Does just that. Gets a nice double boom on the Survivors from the top railing there of the staircase. And Tank Up is in the hands of Grab. Do you need a trash can? Yeah, he, they do. And what worm would you want? Really fast, really fast. Uh, either or. You trash can get trolled. God damn it. He's backing out. You getting smoked too, or what? Let go. Oh, this is a super wall. Oh, it's okay. I got well, the cops the safe again. Door, so there's that. He's out. Backed out. Reloading. Reloading. Smokers up. Now there's dumpsters. No, no, no. He's gonna die. Reloading. Hey guys, Damn can you like come out? Obviously, Prince is using my dusty strats in Death Toll Five. He learned. All the dumpsters. Oh shit, he's bringing the other trash can in. For fuck. Get him in. Catching on. I wonder if they changed the weight on those. Hello. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh. I feel lonely outside now. He's in. No, he's not. He's bringing the cup. He's having fun with the props too. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm bringing this, uh, this there. little green one in too. Give me a sec. Yeah, just I'm bringing this green range, one in. So. Keep throwing them curveballs. Law, he's trying to move this thing. This one won't cooperate. Front, Fuck. I Wait, I almost got it. It's only like one third of the way there. Wow. Oh, Can't walk, bro. <laughs> yes, it teleported. I'll stay here until they go. That's the I'm almost FD. there. I'm only halfway there. He's in. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm so tired of this map, dude. Are these trash cans? Get baited. Going hard in the paint. <laughs> hey, here we go, and There's one, so and many one. objects like laying around. This is the coolest <laughs> finale in the world, dude. Exactly. That's why they have to be removed or we keep doing this. And one. Boom. Oh, Alright. Wait, I almost got it. Hello. You guys, are we spawn blocking in the safe room? What's going on? <laughs> well, it's like fault. you can't spawn block and, and then yes, the... Yes, I got it! The, the tank the doesn't now. lose LOS, right? <laughs> why can he spawn in here if you can't LOS? Guys, I'm pretty sure this tank can't curve rock. I got this. Center needs your pills, Dusty. We're going to win by That's... making them fall asleep. Wrong person, my bad. <laughs> out in the safe room the whole thing. <laughs> oh out. man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bleed out too much. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to Alright, here we go. Pick and roll, can. pick and roll. Just watch. That's not a garbage can. That's a, that's a file cabin. 
Help. Alright, I gotta oh, Yeah, we can't get, get out because the stupid See you guys thing. Later. Oh. Are you really leaving? Yeah, I gotta go, man. I got fucking homework to do, and this is stupid. <laughs> I fucking hate the finale. I killed him! <laughs> I got him! And we're back from that double war room. Um, I believe Center did decide to leave the game. He wasn't too happy with how it was playing out. And he had some homework to go do, supposedly. What? I guess, I guess Center had homework to do. Um... I wonder if he's like 15 years old or something. I... I'm not sure, I guess. Was he saying something? Oh yeah, Center, that wasn't a jab at you, by the way. I, I like you, Senator. You're a cool guy. I'm, I'm, no, I'm being serious. It, it was a jab at something else. <laughs> I'm being completely serious. I'll even tell you what it is. Later. I understand what it was. Yeah, Rails understands what it was. Like for detonation, if you're actually 15, please. I, I love Senator. He's actually a cool guy. I mean, it, it, it is kind of hopeless. I do feel for him. Charger doing a Hail Mary charge down ladder. Only going to be able to get the punch on the Prince, though, there. So there is a nice double down occurring down at the bottom there. Spit th is thrown down there just to delay the pickups, and Francis is barely being saved there by the railing. So, alright then. We're going to see this Hunter is still bouncing around here. Going to go in from the top now. Going for a DP, I believe. Hear him coming in. Almost lands it. Gets skeeted by Prince for his trouble. But Zoe is here. I wonder if I can actually play. I mean, if I can just jump in there and skeet some stuff, but I don't know. Lewis is dead. Which is also going to keep running around here. I, that's odd to see a player leave like that prior to the end of a match. Dual cap does land. Most certainly does. Nice smoker jockey combo in the back. Going to go ahead and ledge hang Zoe. And Bill's just going to hang out. Hey, wait, hey. Literally, hey, hew, hew, hew. Thank you for that. So it's just Redux and Dusty left up now. Going to go for the pickup, I believe. Charger's going to spawn up here and jumps in. Misses the charge, unfortunately, for Redux. Yeah, I mean, Dusty I... Is just still... What? Well, no, I was going to go elaborate on the tank. I mean, that tank was beautifully played by Dragab. A lot of nice curve rocks. Good commit. Good quad boom by the Boomer in the safe room. Uh, finding the one spot that Svaras weren't blocking. Nice charge there. Not going to finish it off just yet, though. Francis had a little bit left in him. And Boomer will be able to still land that double boom on him, though. And we will have Uber Monkey connecting to this over here. I'm not too sure if he's going to take... He's a graveyard shift player. Uh, so he is actually going to sub in here. Um, even though Zoe is currently in capped off the ledge, he's going to go ahead and take her spot and play it out. But Francis is going to go ahead and get down here by the hands of the Horde, and that will be the game. So, in the end, Team Fusion, aka Team Redux, taking the win over Team Graveyard Shift, 3,975 to 1901. Beautifully played by Team Redux. That was pretty... that was pretty nice going into the third, fourth map, and then even the finale, they made one hell of a run. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of unfortunate there, what happened with uh, at the end with Center doing that, but uh, it, it was still effectively over. I mean, interestingly enough there, that's going to be a 2k point win pretty much by Team Fusion, so they will be 1-1, one one, as will Graveyard Shift, moving into the third round of RBT.